Recently, SteamOS 3.7 made an appearance in the main advanced update channel on the Steam Deck, catching our attention without any prior mention of the preceding update. However, the mystery has been solved. SteamOS 3.6 has now officially rolled out to the preview update channel on the deck, offering us a glimpse into Valve's latest developments for the next SteamOS update, complete with a detailed change log. Among the notable enhancements are a more up-to-date Arch Linux Foundation and an updated Linux kernel, enhanced Bluetooth connectivity speed, improved performance and stability in memory intensive scenarios, refined Mura compensation, an updated KDE Plasma for desktop mode, and an upgraded Mesa graphics driver promising significant performance boosts across various applications. Unexpectedly, there are additional improvements that pleasantly surprise. These include accelerated OS update speeds, the option to specify which categories of Bluetooth devices can awaken the system from sleep, with controllers being the default, enhanced UI responsiveness, and the introduction of overclocking controls for the LCD on the Steam Deck. The latter edition in particular comes as a delightful surprise, offering users newfound flexibility and performance potential. Here's the Steam OS 3.6 preview update change log general updated to a more recent arch linux base improved pairing experience with apple airpods improved session recovery speed after gpu crashes fixed some connectivity failures with access point supporting wpa three security updated linux kernel two version 6.5 improved speed of subsequent os updates improved reliability of certain micro sd car usage scenarios Fixed game session cursor offset alignment worked around misdetection of some SanDisk micro SD cards. Fixed an issue where a thin gray line could appear at the bottom of the screen during boot in some situations. Fixed an issue causing temporary files to accrue when using Flatpak enabled support for Bluetooth uh, 2DP and BAT profiles. Improved connection speed of some Bluetooth devices. Improved performance and stability in memory pressure situations. Fixed an issue where the performance overlay would spuriously enable itself under certain conditions. Added mechanism to configure which Bluetooth device categories are allowed to wake the system from suspend. By default, controllers are the only devices that can wake the system from sleep. Finer grained UI configuration options will be available as part of a future update for the display improved display uniformity under some conditions, mirror compensation, improved display color balance, reduced green tint at lower brightness levels under some conditions, improved gamma uniformity, yellow tint. Under some conditions, graphics and performance updated graphics, driver to Mesa 24.1 with many performance and correctness improvements, improved responsiveness of the Steam UI desktop mode, updated to KDE Plasma, May 2017 enabled thumbnail previews for videos in the file browser, fixed an issue with desktop use that could cause subsequent micro SD card auto mount to fail deck dock, added support for some HDMI CC features, TV remote input, TV wake up TV input switching, updated dock firmware with compatibility fixes for high refresh rate, VRR displays for the BOS, added overclocking controls on Steam Deck, LCD, fixed not being able to set the SD card as default boot device, adjusted power LED, slow charging threshold, fixed spurious power LED blinking in, S5 development and modding, modified files and slash etc are now migrated to new OS versions based on a whitelist fixes numerous issues with incidentally touch slash etc files becoming sticky and persisting unexpectedly. Additional whitelist entries can be added via config fragments 